Hello, today we're talking about modifiers, comparing them in 3D Studio Max and Blender. So we have a cylinder primitive here in Max. Add a modifier, as most of you, many of you know. Easy, go to modify, choose what you want, bend, like so. Blender is actually in a similar place. You go to the tab here, <coughs> the spanner, this little spanner logo icon here. <clears throat> go to add modifier we can do a bevel yeah so it's immediately add, added the bevel we can play around with it there right so in 3d studio max we can add modifiers to the stack so we go to perhaps ffd like so so that's at the top of the stack there in blender we can do the same add modifier let's do a build that's quite a funky one it builds things up yeah, like so. Pause that there. So you've got now in this tab the stack. So you've got the bevel and the build below it. And then in this one, in 3D Studio Max, you've got the FFD box above it and the bend below it. Of course, we can change the stack around. Gives can sometimes messes up the results. In 3D Studio Max, you can pull it up and down. Yeah. In Blender, the same thing. All you do is just have this arrow, and again it changes around the, the the layout of things you can add more modifiers in the stack in blender just like just keep going adding what you want you know blah 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 like so yeah you can delete it by doing that in 3d studio max that's the same so you can delete well you can delete it using this icon here finally when you've got your modifiers all the way you want them often we have to we want to convert it just to a solid mesh so it's not going to have any of this on. So in 3 studio Max we just convert to editable poly like so. So now there are no modifiers here and it's just an editable poly there. So in Blender we take it to the frame we want if it's, uh, you know, if it's a sort of an animated modifier like the build one in Blender and we just apply it. Yeah, so apply. So that takes that away and the build one again we apply. So now this is just a bog standard mesh that we can edit in Blender and it's a box standard mesh we can edit in 3D Studio Max. Of course, you know, meshes are great. They're not really box standards. I don't want to denigrate them too much. <laughs> or they might misbehave. Anyway, so that's great. So if you want any more tips and tutorials, check out my YouTube channel and also my website for more tutorials and tips and a lot of my own artwork that I use 3D, 3D graphics in, and that's jamesableart.com. Okay, great, and I look forward to speaking later and doing some new screencasts. Bye.